Zimbabwean President Emerson Mnangangwa has thanked President Jacob Zuma for allowing him to spend his 16 days of exile in South Africa. Mnangangwa is on his first working visit to South Africa since his inauguration on the 24th of November. ANN7 reporter Lengi Wimtaung has the story. The new Zimbabwe president is on a charm offensive. Emerson Mnangagwa's visit to South Africa comes barely a month since he took office. But Mnangagwa has his work cut out for him. The country, once known as a breadbasket of Africa, had long since become a basket case. From now on, Zimbabwe is open for business. Yes, there will be political issues, but primarily it's economics, economics, economics and trade for Zimbabwe. To achieve that, we need to revisit our own legislation in Zimbabwe to open up business. President Jacob Zuma has pledged to strengthen ties between the countries. I'm very happy that uh, <laughs> uh, Comrade President did come because I'm, I'm more clearer now about the situation uh, <clears throat> in Zimbabwe. It confirmed what I could observe from a distance that uh, it looks like there's stability now uh, in, in Zimbabwe. And of course I also commented the, the, <clears throat> the manner in which uh, the, the, the army, when it had, a, it had a concern, how it handled the situation, uh, we could not, the situation could not go out of hand. Zimbabwean businessmen in South Africa are upbeat about new investment opportunities. Some say they're even willing to relocate back home. This is magnificent. It's a turning point in the history of the country and we are so happy to be part of the occasion. Indeed, we are going to make Zimbabwe great again. We welcome the new administration of President Emerson Nangagba because I believe in him. He's a man of no nonsense. He's a no nonsense man. He's a, he's a man who, who knows the boss and nuts of business. So we respect all what he said there and uh, you could see that all what he said there is genuine. And we am also encouraging all businessmen, all international investors to come and invest in Zimbabwe. The arrival of protesters at the Zimbabwean embassy evidently did little to dampen the mood. With the new administrations, Zimbabweans are set to flourish the economy by introducing new investment opportunities that will rebuild the country. Shengiba Mutawu, ANN7, Pretoria.